Okay, we're just briefly going to look at mass versus force and uh, review American engineering system of units. Uh, so if we have one, um, one kilogram um, on Earth, uh, okay, so we have Earth here. Um, on Earth, that is going to exert a force of 9.8 uh, newtons. Okay, and we get that because force equals mass times uh, acceleration or mass times the gravitational force uh, coming down. Okay, so on Earth, if the um, gravitational constant is 9.8 meters per second squared, um, then that's how we get uh, one kilogram exerting 9.8 newtons of force. Now, in the American engineering uh, units, we have one pound, uh, pound mass, okay, and that exerts uh, one pound force. Um, on Earth, and so this, we have to put a, an extra conversion unit in here to convert pounds mass to pounds force. So force equals mass times the gravitational constant, and um, we're also going to divide by GC. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the uh, the GC out right now, and let's just go ahead and do uh, this calculation. So if I had something that um, let's say was uh, Let's change this instead of one pound mass. We'll just go with uh, 47 pounds mass. Okay, so that's going to create uh, 47 pound force, a force of 47 uh, pounds. Um, and so if we do this calculation, then uh, that's going to be 47 uh, pound mass times um, 32.2 feet per second squared. Okay, so that's equivalent to this 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. Okay, and then that is going to give us 15.13.2 um, and that's going to be foot um, pound mass per second squared. Okay, so these are just kind of confusing units. We want to put that into pound force units and, and the way we do that is uh, we go ahead and divide by um, GC, which is 32.2 pound mass feet per second squared over pound force. Okay, so the units are going to cancel out here. Okay, and that'll go into the numerator, and that will give us 47 pound force. Okay, so let's say we're in a location that's different uh, than Earth in terms of the gravitational uh, constant. Um, then what we would do is just use this formula, F equals M times G over GC. So this is really just a unit conversion, and that's always going to be 32.2, um, and that's going to be uh, pound mass, pound force, foot per second squared. Okay, so that's uh, the difference between American uh, engineering system of units and uh, SI units. Okay, so SI units also has this GC there, but um, that's just going to be uh, one for the SI units. Okay, so that just concludes this uh, brief tutorial. Just make sure when you're um, you know, pound mass and pound force; those are not um, those are not the same thing, and you have to use uh, this conversion uh, to convert between those two.